back like we never left. SV here with the live reaction to Swordmaster's youngest son. This week, reading chapters 49 to 51. So let's get it. Swordmaster's youngest son, chapter 49. Let's get it. Let's get it, boy. Mm. Are we while we left off, bro? Is it gonna be a fight? Even if you want to run away, it's too late, Murakan. Battle of the X's, bro. We needed it. You see, the fucking dragon pulled up her dragon form, bro. I'll kill you at sea. God damn. Wait, calm down, quick as hell. I know you hate me, but it's not what's important right now. Let's take care of what's urgent first, then talk. And as he says that, he knows something. She just <laughs> opens her maw, bro. A magic circle forms in her maw as she gets ready to fucking fire a blast at Murakan, bro. She is not listening to a word he's saying, bro. She ain't listening to a word he's saying, bro. And you see, yo, she just lets loose a fucking blast. Shit! Murakan dodges. And we see, as Murakan flies away, a silver dragon sprawls her wings and just goes after him, bruh. Huh? Oh my god. What the fuck was that, bro? She runs right into Murakan, bro. Boom! Crashes in him. That boy Jin in the helmet holding on for dear life. She opens her mouth and goes to chomp at Murakan's neck. Murakan happens to dodge it low key. Damn it. Why are you so mad? Bro, what do you think she mad for, bro? As Murakan dodges, she bites but then sends a tail whip at him and boom. Hits him with a tail. Cracks him. Yeah, almost snapped the neck for real, bro. She ain't playing. And again, Murakan gets hit. Boom. With the neck, with the tail. She opens her maw again. About to fucking fire another blast, bro. Another beam of light forms in her mouth. You, you're crazy. At this distance. And she shoots the fucking beam at point blank, bro. Just fire shit right at him. Yo, what the fuck just happened, bro? Murakan takes a direct hit, blocks it, but it's a direct hit. What the fuck just happened, bro? What the fuck just happened, bro? Murakan blasts, get blocks, right? She, Silver Dragon, notices something. And now all you see is Murakan standing there, bro. With this, like, black aura. This, like, circle of black aura or something just behind him, bro. Yeah, I don't know what Murakan did to piss her off like this. Besides just dump her. But I don't know, bro. Maybe he cheated or something. I don't know, bro. <laughs> bro, so that shit... Starts swirling. She's surprised. He goes, Phew. I bought some time. It was good that I followed you. I would have died without a, I would have died without a sound if you were hit by the silver dragon. Sheesh. I won't die. And no matter how strong Quinta um Quicantal is, she can't come here. Shit, bro. And knowing him, he probably dumped her for no reason and then went around sleeping for 500, let her, bruh, letting her set her rage, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Anyway, it's hard to find an opening. Since talking won't work, I need you to find a way to calm her down. Bro, she, she rips open. <laughs> This fucking aura sphere 
that Murakon is is set around himself to try and, you know, buy some time. She claws it and rips that shit open, bruh. You think you can use your shadow energy release? How unfortunate, Murakon. How did you... You foolish bastard. You don't know how weak you've become. You're very much mistaken if you think you're the same as before. Quick and tell, stop. Let's leave it at this for old time's sake. I only came here because I have something to ask. Old time's sake? If I think about old times, I won't want to stop at just ripping you apart. Bro, she looks fucking menacing, bro. Bro, what the fuck? Did she pull him towards her? What the fuck just happened? Murakon dives towards her and just got... Bites right at her neck, bro. Hang, chomps that shit. Calm down, quick and tell. Why are you going going this far when all we did is break up? And she just goes, just break up. Just break up. And she cracks him with that shit. Is that exactly why? This is exactly why you're getting beat up. She punches him. Oh, shit. Now. Okay, so Jin planning something. Jin, go, kid! You see that boy Jin jumps in the air, doing something. What? A human? An outer skin that's tough. That's tough for even Murakon to bite through. It'll be hard for me to make a dent in it. However, with a little opening and what's left of Murakon's shadow energy. And we see that boy oars up his, we see the shadow energy forming around the sword Jin's holding. Woo! Shadow energy release! Let me see. Comes down. Boom! Hits it with the sword. Ah! Holy shit. We see it cracks. And boom! Straight. Oh shit. Straight through, bruh. King. Yo. Bruv. Straight through. I thought it was the tail he cut or something. Like, nah. He cut from the shoulder. Like, down, bruh. Pink arm and wing. Full off, bro. That's crazy. Kid. You see Murakan flies down, catches him. <sighs> Seems like you're out of energy, but good job. Thumbs up. Well, did I did I did I suddenly become a dragon slayer? Prince Yo, is that you? <laughs> bruh, that boy Chad in there, bruh, I'm telling you. That boy Chad, he's in the body. Did I become a dragon? No. Let's just hope she calmed down a bit. No. Bruh, there's no way she gonna calm down, bruh. What are you talking about? That wasn't enough? Well, a normal dragon would have died. However, Quee can tell is different. Dragons who can manipulate time won't die easily. And bruh, all you see is in front of Murakon, you see all these gears and shit just turning and whatever. Um, we might end up going missing before we e we can even find the missing dragon. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> and she's just getting back up, boy. It's not over, bruh. It is not over.
Bruh. And like, like, why do we think that cutting her arm off would make her calm down? Is she not going to be more pissed right now, bro? Like, dude. Bro. And she's just turning back time, bro. The silver dragon. And her arm is just coming back and just king reattaches onto her body, bro. Shit is crazy, bro. It literally comes back, attacks itself, no problem. Is she rewinding time? That's the reason why authority and magic are separated. But don't worry too much. Although it's a scam, although it's a scam, it consumes a lot of power too. You giving me bitter, um, bitter baby mom vibes? I'm dead. <laughs> But, just in case, don't move an inch, he says. Let me see. So, I guess she did calm down, bro. Because she comes out of dragon form, back into her humanoid form, and she's just floating there. Have you calmed down a little? I didn't know you still had feelings to the point where you went crazy. Didn't we break up on good terms? Good terms, she says. You dumped me one-sidedly. With no room to talk. Is that what you call breaking up on good terms? Oh, shit. You get angry when I talk about breaking up. To be blunt, I didn't cheat. And it was because... It was just because one personality... Our personality, excuse me, didn't match. And they're just, just yelling at each other, bro. This is a conversation to being dragons who've lived for thousands of years? Ah, whatever. I didn't come here to fight. I came to ask you something. Wait, before that. That human, is he perhaps Solderit's contractor? That's not what's important right now. One of our people is in grave danger right now. One of us, she says? She's like, what do you mean? Ha! You're despicable, Murakan. You've killed so many dragons. What are you saying now? You're kidding me. Murakan had no words for that, bro. He ain't saying a word. He's like, damn. You must be right. If you think about those who died at your hands, yes. And among them was the enemy of your older brother. Oh, Murakam got the card, bruh. He said, bruh, I killed many dragons, but one of them was a nigga your brother hated. So put some respect on me, bruv. Fuck. Boy. He said, yes. And among them was the enemy of your older brother, nigga. She's like, oh, for your revenge. For someone who I had no connection to, I killed, bro. You better put, she better put some respect on Murakan, boy. Because he took, like, bro, he did that for you, for your revenge. He killed him. Come on, bro. Whatever. It's my fault for wanting to ask you. I could have asked another dragon. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait a sec. Shit. When I see you, I always become emotional. He's like, fuck, man. Whenever I see you, I just get it in my emotions, in my feels, bruh. <laughs> just ask me and apologize for, and I apologize for what I just said. Right. Right. Like, Murakai had to wake her up, bro, because she don't really, she's just in her feelings because she obviously still loves Murakai, bro. It's apparent to me. That she still loves Murakan. But Murakan thought that their personalities were not compatible. But that's not to say that Murakan didn't care for her too. Because like he just said, he killed a whole dragon for her revenge. You know? Not for him. 
he had no issue, no kind of bad blood between him and that other dragon. But he put him in the dirt for her, bro. Come on. Let's be real here. Just ask me and I apologize for what I just said. Um, Kiatili, one of Asmil's guardian dragons, went missing. Missing. Are, are you referring to Tikan's Latri? Yeah. That was, there was a name like that. Now we're getting to the main topic. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she couldn't let go of it. It was, just, it, it literally has been festering the whole time for thousands of years had been festering, you know? And she finally was able to, like, not let go of all of it, but some of it, bruh. Gilly, come get your man. <laughs> it's strange. That child was taken by Vuleta not long ago. Vuleta? Vuleta. Wind Dragon Vuleta. One of Meslier, the god of winds, dependents, and the guardian dragon of the vice head of the Zippo family, Andre. Then what does it mean? Then does that mean it's the Zippo family again? Yo, Zippo on some bullshit as always, bro. Andre. I'm certain that they said they could teach Latree the dragon language magic. I think we should move locations. If we go back a little, if we go back a little, we can avoid the trap and go into Bement. Let's go. I'll guide you to my house. Hey, to the house of the crib. Okay. A forest on the outskirts of Bement capital. Yeah, Zip will stay on dirt, bro. I'm telling you, he wants to fuck you always. I wasn't able to introduce myself before. I am Solaret's contractor. I know. You're Tamar's descendant, right? And you're the youngest son, Jenrun Kendall. Damn! So she knows. So she knows about all this, bro. About some things. And the Zippo, I believe they said the Zippo have all the dragons because... Dragons normally make packs with people who have magic, I assume. So because they're like they're the premier dragon of the premier um like magic family, that's why they have all the dragons, I think. I believe it was something to do with their with all their magic. What? How did you know? How could I not know when he's giving the same giving off the same energy as Tamar? The three of us were together for a thousand years ago. Often a thousand years ago. She knows cause kind of the is a symphogen. Really? <laughs> They were together, like they used to hang out. Like obviously the first Connor Tamar, Murakan, and then O Girl. As they were dating, you know? They were all together, cooling. Ah. I just guessed he was the youngest. And the and the Guardians and the Guardian Dragon's reaction was quite good. Hmm. Queen can tell you anyway. You, let's get to the main topic. Voleta took Latree a, a year ago. So you're saying that they coaxed her by t saying they would teach her dragon language magic, right? This doesn't sound good. But it might be true. We can tell the current contractor of Asmil is too young to control the authority. Eh? What? Then wouldn't it be dangerous if their dra guardian dragon isn't by their side? Bingo. That's right. Vuleta should have known that too. As expected, do they have a different motive? Since you said as expected, 
Does that mean you know something? She taps her finger on the on the um the table. I feel like there's more to Jin getting the shadow powers than we than than what they explain. I I could definitely see them, you know, giving us more info on that shit. But I don't know right now. And that's his news. Yeah, that's his news name exactly. They used to all kick it, bro. It's fucking fire. When Ruletta took Latree, she stopped by the Ment. She said she would introduce Latree to me, but. She kept obsessing over my contract <clears throat> and asked me to agree to meet with her without a reason just once. Huh. But she kept obsessing over my contractor and asked me to agree to meet with her Without reason, just once. Do you think I would let that slide with my temper? Hell no. Ah, I had no choice since my contractor's identity was already revealed. Since there are many people who are close to the Zippo in the men's upper class, if I acted based on my temper, I wouldn't have let my contractor stay stay here any longer interesting interesting if they acted based on my temp if i acted based on my temper i wouldn't have let my contractor stay here any longer miss quick and tell you said that your contract identity was revealed but as mills contractor has been revealed right it's suspicious how they knew about it and approached Latree. This is really strange. Was the contractor detection magic created while I was asleep? Impossible, she says. No one can find out about a contract until the contractor personally manifests the authority. Even if that magic does exist, then how would that be beneficial to them? It's not she wouldn't have let her contract to stay in Reaper. She said she would have been a goner. Oh, a goner. They would benefit in two ways, Jin says. First, they can minimize the dangers and eliminate the contractors outside of their territory. And second is, if they kill the contractor, the Zippo family can obtain the opportunity to make contract with the god. Actually, it's not just an opportunity to make a contract. I'm sure they have a certain method in my past life, the god of time, Ulta's contractor, officially appeared at the stone statue ten years from now. Huh. The god of time, Ulta's contractor, officially appeared at the stone statue, stone statue ten years from now. The contractor was a pure-blooded Zippo. I'm certain they can make a contract with the god if they kill their contractor. And that's the reason why Julia's guardian dragon was kidnapped, right? No, they didn't kill a little girl yet. She is gonna die. So, by taking the dragon away from the girl while she's young, it'll eventually kill her. So, they're killing her? without having to really um get their hands dirty you know they're trying to do it off off hands type shit you know what i'm saying but we all we know that this is gonna smoke her if in the past they did 
Oh, okay, in the past. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. In the past they did, yeah. Since I didn't hear anything about the Prince of Takan in my past life, it seems like there was a lot of speculation about Soderet's contractor. I can't accept it. They already have so many contractors, so why? Aren't you being ridiculously suspicious because it's the enemy? Miss Kui can tell. You're telling lies that even yourself don't believe. Mm. I'm not sure what it's like for dragons, but a human's greed has no end. If they reach the peak, they won't be satisfied and they will desire things above that. Hey, kid, Murakan says. There's also people who have been in rain for thousands of years. Whatever they do, it's not strange. I'm certain that the chiefs are planning something. I'm not sure why you're pretending to not know. Perhaps, are you afraid of the Zippo family? Mmm. That boy says it. P say it black and white. What happened to your mash? So I had to delete all. I had to delete all the the anime reactions from my channel because I ended up getting two fucking strikes. So I had to delete them all. So that's why there's no mash and shit on my channel anymore. You know what I'm saying? So unfortunately, that had to happen. Wait. We can tell. We all know about the Zippo family's greed. On top of that, I hate to admit it, but it's true that they're skilled people. Nothing bad comes from being careful, right? I won't ask for your help, so leave the ment. <laughs> Starts fucking laughing, bro. Well, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be watching it on Twitch. And I'll be putting up like clips and shit on my TikTok. Unfortunately, like full episodes won't be good. It won't be going up at least for like three months. At least for like three months, I won't be able to put up any full episodes, you know? Huh? Murakan, you've changed a lot. To think you read the room. Huh? Okay. I will have my contractor flee first. And I will help you. What? You? I need to see Vuleta and find out the truth, Tip. If if what the two of you are saying is true, they're probably looking for an opportunity right now. If I call, they'll probably come flying right now. She puts her hand on Jin's shoulder. On top of that, I have a duty to Tamar. Since one of his descendants is here, it's making me think of the old days. Even provoking me on purpose. Huh? Even your cockiness resembles him, as she says. Looks down at our boy, that boy Jin. Anyway, I'll call Veluda, Vuleta, excuse me. And after all, and after that, Miss Quikatel, I'm back! Eh? Who are these people? Enya! I told you not to come outside. No. Actually, this is better. I'll introduce her to you. This is Enya. The contractor of the God of Time. <gasps> Ulta. Enya. This is my old friend. And the contract he's protecting. Jin Rune Kendall. Huh? <laughs> Why the fuck her shit just break, bruh? Why her glasses just break, boy? King she just breaks. Ah! She streams. M -m 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 oh my! Is it Ru is it really Jin Rukandel? Oh 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 my! Young Master Jin's right in front of me. Um, Miss Quee can tell. Yup, fangirl. Ah, about that. I forgot to tell you. Ah. 
I have a little fantasy about you. Hey, yo. What kind of fantasy? Please, give me an autograph. Young Master Jin. That's crazy. <laughs> the yimp, bro. She yimping for the boy. Yimping. The walls? Stop. Enya, how do you maintain your... How about you maintain your dignity as a contractor? <gasps> ah, ah, I'm sorry. Personally, seeing Master J young Master Jin, who I've seen in the papers, I lost my mind for a bit. Although, it's, it's late. My name's Enya. I'm a commoner, but I'm attending the academy as a scholarship student. A commoner? I know Ota's value... I know Ulta values the bloodlines of its contractors. Does that mean she's that talented? Damn, okay. That's crazy. Jin's first sem facts. There's no need to be sorry, Enya. No need to be um to be ashamed of an enthusiastic welcome. Ah, then can I do more? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> more importantly, Enya. I told you not to leave the house until I said so, didn't I? Ah, it was depressing just staying at home, so I thought I'd feel better if I, if I saw you, Kui can tell. But all of a sudden, young master Jin was in front of my eyes, as expected. I made the right choice to come see you. <laughs> a commoner and, the, and an academy scholarship student. The bement nobility, no nobility, excuse me. Without me seeing it personally, I can imagine just how much they bully Enya. That's crazy, bro. This is why I haven't associated with those academy bastards ever since my previous life. Those clumsy bastards. Before that, who can tell? Why is young Master Jin here? The reason, the reason I'm here, the reason I'm here is Miss Enya. Pardon? There's a possibility that someone's after you, the contractor of Ulta. So, will you come with me? And bro, <laughs> when Jin asks her, will you come with me? Like, the man is looking like <laughs> the sun behind him, bro. <laughs> I will protect Miss Enya, and she just, oh, <laughs> to, to protect me? You? You're taking me? All my prayers to Ulta have been answered, finally! Of oh, crying. Oh, so loud. Enya, stop now. I'll go. Please take me with you. I'll go. Praise Ulta! Praise the god of time, and she just <laughs> praise the god of time. <laughs> Take it easy, Aladdin. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, she fainted. I was worried she wouldn't want to go. Seems I was worried for nothing. Seeing her like this, if I were you, she'd follow you to the Rune Kendall's <laughs> basement prison. <laughs> basement prison. Our family doesn't have anything like that. There's no need for you to pretend, since there's a dragon there too. There's no need for you to pretend, since there's a dragon there too. Pardon? What are you talking about? Yeah? <laughs> See, you have more Murakan on, on the ground, just chilling. Chilling. Put her to sleep, bruh, for real. Just chop. <laughs> Bro, I can't. He couldn't even wait. Jin Rune Kandel, yes? The reason I said I would help you. There are other reasons, like maintaining my loyalty to Tamar and Enya's safety. But my biggest reason is... That guy who's fallen asleep from exhaustion. He doesn't know how weak he's gotten. 
I did bite my tongue, but he can't go up against Vuleta. So if we need to fight Vuleta, I'll fight her. Is Vuleta that strong? She is, but he's gotten so weak. My attack at sea would have been a joke to the Murakan a thousand years ago. Ah, now that I think about it, you both need a place to stay until Vuleta comes, right? How about, what do you think about staying at my place? Will that be all right? If you aren't opposed to it, but you need to convince that dragon. I'm certain he's going to create a fuss because it's his ex-girlfriend's house. The silver dragon, we can tell. Compared to my first impression of her, she's quite thoughtful. Yes, I will. Okay, it's about that time then. Is there something else? Ten seconds from now, Enya will wake up. Then, with careful wording, please explain the current situation to Enya. Pardon? Didn't you just hit her? Didn't you just hit her really hard? Even a trained martial artist wouldn't wake up that quickly. You see, boom, she wakes up, boy. Just to get a debuff. <laughs> I'm dead. Then Master J Jin, in this world, there are things that go beyond common sense and reasoning. Young Master Jin. With that, I'll leave this to you. So, there's a force after Takan's contractor. And you're saying I might be their next target. I will trust you since it's you, young Master Jin. A scheme and adventure surrounding a scheme and adventure surrounding a child and a girl, and on top of that, dragons and young Master Jin. It's quite romantic. I guess you could see it that in see it that way. Thinking positively is better. So I should prepare myself to leave the family and to Ken. When will we be leaving? The sooner the better. I can be ready by tomorrow then. The only family I have is a seven... The only family I have is a seven-year-old younger brother and an old dog named Poopy. I'm dead. Sounds good. We'll start moving then. Head back and start preparing, Enya. Yes, I'll head back before it starts getting too late. See you tomorrow, your Master Jinji. Boom, door slams. I can just tell the Academy Enya's sick, right? Yeah. If you say she's dropping out, they will investigate. Okay, now then. We just need to worry. We just need to worry about the, um, Vuleta. Huh? Is anyone home? I'm here to get some firewood. Firewood? What a strange human being. There are so many trees outside. Who the fuck is that? Please wait, Miss Quikentel. Do you really think they came to get firewood? Right. Hmm? Are all dragons this careless? Like, bruh. Sus, boy. Sus. The person from the outside is most likely someone from the men's special affairs division. What? Why are they here? Because of Miss Enya. They'll keep watching this place from, from now on. And they also want to confirm the outsiders that you brought with you. Watching? Me? How dare they? <laughs> she goes, watching me? How dare they? Open the door. Ah, your boom. She grabs Oba by the neck, bro. <laughs> grabs Oba by the neck like, boy, if you don't tell me the truth, you. Are you from the men's special affairs division? What are you, why are you doing this? I'm not. Who sent you then? I did. Who are you? Can you please 
Release your grip. If you kill him, another officer from the Special Affairs Division will come right away. Oh, so you're the commander. Okay, if I need to kill someone, and we see, she goes right for his bumper, bro. She, mm, for the punch. You're the better choice. She, boom, cracks him. Smoke settles. Bro, he ate the punch, bro. She cracked him, and he didn't even move, bro. If it's this. Did you get to blow off some steam? Swordmaster's youngest son, chapter 51, end. What the fuck? Nah, what the fuck, bro? There's no way he just ate that, no problem, bro. He just tanked that shit. Nah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Like, nigga got in the house, too. Like, what's up with that, bro? What's up with this guy, bro? Nah, he on some bullshit, bro. He on some bullshit for real. I ain't gonna hold you. That's crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Who is this guy, bro? Shit is getting spicy out of nowhere, bro. But if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate y'all so much. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like on the video. It really helps the boy out. Also, drop us up. Because I'm bringing different live reactions weekly. I'm on the road to 1K. So a sub would really help the boy out. So I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets. And I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.